Well, Green Bay officials are hoping it will be the social center of the city. For about four years now, plans have been in the works for the city deck. Some of the work started about a year ago, and a lot of progress has been made since then. Becky DeVries brings us up to date on the progress, as well as what the future holds for the project in this Fox 11 follow-up. For about a quarter mile of riverfront in downtown Green Bay, you will find a construction zone between Main and Walnut Streets. But in about two months, in the very same place, you should find the city deck. The city deck is going to be a very important place where our community celebrates. And uh, while it's a very impressive physical improvement, it's going to be uh, an important center, a gathering place. What's being built right now is the walkway. Ed Wiesner is the interim director for Green Bay's Public Works Department. The city had hoped to have the new deck open in October, but Wiesner says there were some design issues unique to the project that caused a bit of a delay. It's moving along. Uh, we're not quite where we expected to be at this point in the project, but we're, we're shooting for substantial completion by no, November 21st. While the City Deck grand opening is set for November 21st, the day of Green Bay's holiday parade, the folks at Downtown Green Bay Incorporated are busy planning other events here, though they can't offer specifics just yet. From the standpoint of series events, uh, we're uh, looking forward to next summer kicking off some of the uh, some of the regular events that will take place. Some might be lunch hour oriented, and others, um, some of the more family oriented events, uh, would take place in the evening. Well, you can see signs of the boardwalk and brick walkway progressing in the next few months. You should see even more progress, like lighting, landscaping, and some railings installed. I think they're going real fine. I mean, it's uh, the project has had its challenges. Um, it's a unique design. It's something obviously different for Green Bay. I think the the general public will enjoy the the end product when we're completed with it. In Green Bay, Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. The city estimates a substantial portion of the project will be completed by November 21st. There will be some follow-up work to be done next spring. After that, the city can look at moving on with different phases of the project, such as boat docks and a concert venue. The entire project could take about five years to complete. The estimated cost of the project is $12 million, which is being funded primarily through grants and donations.